and welcome back. I just got a message, just a second. And back for a while at least. So, we were re rebuilding our manpower, at least for now. And building the colonies. Uh, matchlock muskets. Seems nice. We didn't have muskets and guns before. At least, I think so. Excellent! Excellent! So... We will need to have an army standing... Oh, sorry. Against the Brotherhoods. This guy can just stay close by in case these revolt before they actually finish. See? I had a feeling they were about to do that. We can't build any temples over there yet. We can do textile manufacturing. No special bonus effect though. Very good. Very good indeed. March out. Okay. So normally, if we declare war against this guy. We can't. And that will give that as a result. I see. There's no other way? Too many allies. Free ports, Brahmin woods. Doesn't have the right allies. But now we could try to take on the Brotherhood over there. We would be strong enough on this flank, and we would be strong enough on that flank. We can try. Or the Commonwealth, that would actually be a smarter move for now. They're less defended. And further apart, and we know we can actually take them on with only two of those. The question is, can we take on the Brotherhood with three of these? Because we can't capture any of these lands. But yeah, all we need to do against the Brotherhood is keep them at bay. If we declare a war, they can only call in the Brotherhood. That's all. Let's hope this estimation is right. Because this is going to be 
one hell of an expensive war. Twenty-four, they can't take on the might of the Brotherhood. At least not on their own. But we could use tricks, perhaps. We gotta try somehow, because just colonizing is gonna become very boring for all of you, loyal viewers. Yep, they called in their allies. That was to be expected. These guys can go back. We don't want to lose too much men to attrition. The Brotherhood is still far out, not doing anything. Should have paid more attention. Should have paid a lot more attention. <laughs> but we can still win this. Especially considering we are the defenders. Nope, we lost. How is this even possible? Well, it is. It was my own mistake, actually. That's how it's possible. to do a full retreat. Huh. Well, still, we're gonna replace him. We're gonna replace him and we're gonna reinforce. Because we definitely need to do that. They're coming in for Mohawk. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, what? How did they get their hands on so many men?
This front is still okay. Here we will just try to retake this place. For now at least, in an attempt to regain our manpower. Huh. Or we could just lure them out. Maybe we can do that. Maybe we can actually lure them over here. The Brotherhood has sent a new force. Let's deal with it. They're trying to come back. Perhaps realizing the precariousness of their situation. Seems alright. We this tactic does seem to be working, except that we have been beaten back in the first fight. This tactic does seem to be paying off. They're coming back to Mohawk. And the Brotherhood is also in trouble. Yeah, they're gonna try and drive us out. But we should have better guns and better men. See? We can drive them out. Less men than they did. A lot less. That's very good. Once we actually have this fort, we will keep our leader. It's no time to have a replacement. Really, it's no time to have insecure government. Two front wars, just like our first one, but this time we are prepared and more powerful. We do seem to be winning. We may have actually caused the Brotherhood to completely run out of manpower. We may also be causing the Commonwealth to be running out of manpower. I hope so. Just a minute. And we're back. So. The war. Ah, the Brotherhood has returned. They are heading towards Bunker Alpha. So will we. The Brotherhood thinks that they can actually outrun us or outsmart us or defeat us in any way. <coughs> they are sorely mistaken. Well, they probably could, if they were really lucky, or really powerful, but we just have too much morale. At least for this battle we do.
We drove him back successfully. Brotherhood is having difficulties with us. Which I like. I like that a lot. Oh. That I do not like. Just for now, if we have to, because we really do not have any other choice, I believe. They're falling back. But they're all gonna be too late, you can be sure of that. And we're gonna lose that siege. Oh no, they're arriving. They are arriving. But way too late. Way too late. too late. Although, we did it. We actually did it. You know what, folks? Just stay there. Ah, but they did rebuild their walls. Okay, we don't need any reinforcements on the left flank, so it's only reinforcements on this flank. And the army will be reinforcing at a very high pace, I think. A hostile siege? Where? Over there, the Brotherhood. They have returned. We have taken this place. Huzzah! Okay, the mercenaries. Let's hope our morale is high enough to actually win this fight. If we did, it would be our first head-on conflict against the Brotherhood that we actually win. And we did. We won. Nice. Okay, so we will demand, oh, we cannot, no, we cannot demand that, we can demand this, 
We cannot demand that on top of it. Then we will continue this war for a little while. Demanding them to annul their treaty doesn't seem to do that much. And we can't keep fighting against the Brotherhood for long. So the only thing we could still try is to occupy more land. Because I don't know how many more battles we can fight with this amount of man, of manpower, and with this money loss. Oh, but we could push it into battle against them. This we can win. Of course, if we get good rolls, we can win. But we're out of manpower, so we definitely need to wrap up this war. They will not accept this yet. Is the Brotherhood already showing up? No. The Brotherhood is staying out. They're being wise. Let's see if we can capture some more land. And then force the peace treaty. least allow us to pay for these men. That's something, ain't it? Okay, are these the mercenaries? Yes, they are. So we can already dis disband these, we really don't need to pay for them. We still won't accept defeat. Manpower reserves definitely need to <laughs> need to grow back. It was a glorious victory, even though it didn't really do what it's supposed to do. We didn't win as much as we hoped, but we won. Which is enough for me for the moment.
And the Brotherhood was over there. Good. It's good that we had peace when we did. Because we will definitely need to rebuild manpower now. Definitely. Navy morale increased. Not that it does any good, but... And we had an inspiring victory. Now, let's rebuild manpower. As one of the greater forces in the world, we can actually do that at an incredibly high rate. to there and we'll send one to there. And we will fabricate claims. And yes, yes, I know what you're all thinking. Why on earth are you colonizing those places? No, none of you are thinking that actually. It makes very good sense to continue to push here. And we should continue to try and take these American lands. Even though they won't really reach that far. Hmm. Washington Helios 1, both give special thingies. We could try that. <laughs> Either way, I thank you all for watching. And I bid you good night as we now restore our manpower once more. <laughs>